All right, so we have Abzan Greasefang. So this is pretty much like the similar list that we ran uh, a few videos ago. Basically the same list. We have our four fast lands of each Bloom Martian Concealed Courtyard, our Pathways, our Shocklands. The only change we made for this specific league is we added a Sky Sovereign main deck and we took away one with a Bloom. As much as I loved having four of everything, I just wanted to see if adding one Sky Sovereign would make a difference, especially with more Mono Green popping up. It's uh, it's good in that matchup. It takes care of Karn and all their like other mana dorks. So we're going to run with this list. Um, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get into the gameplay. All right, match one. We are on the draw here. The hand has turn one Thoughtseize, turn two Witherbloom, but that doesn't seem very good. They mulligan, we'll mulligan also. This hand's a lot better. It has three lands. The only thing we're missing is something in the graveyard. But as turn one thought sees, turn two informant, stay away. I'll keep this. It's almost tempting to pitch a land. I'm gonna pitch a land. I don't know if that's greedy or not. We're on the we're on the draw here. So we have a lot of we have like four opportunities to draw another land. Dark Souls Citadel, Ginger Brood, get him for one, sure. So we'll leave with the thought sees. Okay, another thought sees. Definitely going to uh get rid of this card. So their hand is terrible. Their hand is two lands and a spring leaf drum. Getting rid of that was huge because that would have totally made this really difficult to deal with. So they drew that for turn, they get him for one. <laughs> beep beep indeed. What's up? Chariot? That's a good draw. Because now we get to Temple Garden into Rafines, discarding Chariot. Next time we get to reanimate Chariot. Oh, you know what? I didn't fix my chat. There we go. I thought that looked a little strange. All right, they played their Confluence and Drum. So they have a Confluence in hand we know about. I just realized we don't have, we never hit a third land. Oh man, that's, that's messed up. I thought we, we should have had a, hit a third land by now. I guess that ended up being greedy, huh? Um, we even discarded with Rafines. Let's play another Rafines. Parhelion. That's awkward. All right, well, at least if we hit a land, we have a Parhelion all wrapped up. I'm going to be sad if we never see our third land. All right, they're just hitting a lot of lands. They're going to have a lot of mana for something. Five mana. Oh, just straight up Gigantha. Okay. Come on, land. Oh, my God. You know what? Oh, so if we were smart, we would have just pitched Grease Fang and can't... And yeah, that was a mistake. We should have just pitched Grease Fang and then we'd get it back. That was a mistake. Um, see if they have... Okay, that's a good thing to get rid of. All right, we'll hold back. Oof. Yeah, that was a mistake. It's just assuming we'd get a land, but we'll trade with this. Turn five, we haven't drawn one land yet. There's a land. Now we get to go off next turn. Hopefully it's not too late. Equip, swing for two, two unblockable. Okay, so if they don't draw anything next turn, they they lose. Yeah, there's a land. Wait, make sure... Yeah, we're getting a brawl. They have one turn. We could play this tapped also, but it's not going to get past next turn anyway. Portable hole. Nice. Yeah, we made so many mistakes that game. You guys can roast me in the comments, but we got there in the end. So we're against Affinity. Fatal Push is looking pretty good. Abrupt Decay. These look pretty good. With a Boom Command should be awesome also. And we definitely want another Sky Sovereign. That's why we were playing the extra one too. Stitchers can bring all that. So yeah, this is just straight up artifacts. So we'll be bringing in Fatal Push, Abrupt Decay. This. What's like not good in this? Even with a Boom Command is really good. But I feel like Supplier is not... So we're just on, like, Mono Removal right now. We'll keep this. This is two lands, Removal, Removal, and our key card. Let's try and uh, play better this time. Turn one, nothing. We will do that also. And we hit our third land, which is great. Birdside, Reliquary, Patchwork, okay. That has Ward, so we can't really do anything about that. Check that in. Play Seder. Oh, look at that. So if they have no interaction next turn, we just get back Parhelion. No, come on. God damn it. Of course they have interaction. <sighs> okay, that's annoying. So we're going to do this, make them pop. The cool part is this gets destroyed, and then we get the mill three. So they'll pop this, exile my graveyard. Oh, wow, they're just going to counter it. Okay, interesting. I just tapped. Genius math. I guess we'll just shield. Yeah, you'd think they'd, they'd pop it, um, and then just, like, counter the next play. I don't know. Maybe they have, like, another counter. Um, we'll block here, because if they have, like, portable hole, I don't want to get... I don't want to uh, get portable hold and then just regret not blocking. All right, Chariot. That's one good thing about Chariot is we can just hard cast this and it's still good. Oh, wait. Don't turn off auto yields. But they can like pump this with like, if they get that uh, white enchantment. And this having ward too is so annoying. They cast another patchwork. This card's really good against us just because of the ward. Tapping for two mana. Hopefully not another one. Oh, and soul. Oof. Okay. We're going to crew and just block this. Take eight. Another Parhelion. 
So it says reward two, we'll pay two for it. And then we'll crew this. We'll attack, get a cat. Okay, not looking too bad. Not using our graveyard at all. Totally fine. Another ingenious smith. So they're definitely looking for an artifact for the ornithopter. And they revealed um, Black Staff, which is pretty annoying. So they're going to play that now. They're not going to. They can play it, but they can't activate it, it looks like. They play this for blue. Yeah, they can play it, but not activate it this turn. Use this for blue mana. And this will get a plus one, plus one. Oh, they just straight up playing in soul. Man, they had two in souls? So they put this on a flyer, but it can't attack this turn. We didn't draw. Let's... How do we want to play this? We can play... I really wish we had a removal for this. <laughs> Install these scissors, yeah. Uh, they can't kill us next turn unless... They have water deep in hand. So we have a turn. We can make them pop that... The, make them pop it now. Play this out, because we can just crew Chariot with Grease Fang here. Yeah, that's... I like that. So they're going to pop it. We get a free crew. They block here. If we attack with all, they have to block here. But then they have these to attack. That's seven, potentially eight. That could be lethal. Um, this is going to make a cat token, so we'll have two there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. They can just not block. Well, no, because they have the water deep, so they'll turn... Let me see. Another target not be becomes a 4-4 four, four artichoke creature. Is this just lethal in the air, actually? Like a f I think this just becomes like a lethal flyer in the air. So I don't think we win. We need a, like a removal spell. Oh, wait, that just blocks that. I'm, I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why I was thinking this couldn't block. I didn't even pay attention to this. So we're just dead because, yeah, we're just dead because they play that. I just want to see if that makes that a 9-9. Uh, a, a yeah, a lot of sloppy play. Definitely on me. Definitely uh, lack of... Lack of... Uh, oh, they just turned that. Ah, uh, okay. This is why this is lack of knowledge for the Pioneer format. All right, let's just run that back. We have a lot of removal. And they also had two insoles, which didn't really work out for us. This hand's fine. It has removal, hard cast, it has our low lands. I'm fine with this. So the question is, oh, no, I'm just going to play Blooming Martian Pass. Hold up Fatal Push. If they don't do anything, I'll play Concealed Courtyard. And Rafine's Informant at Asikas. I just don't know. Like, if they play Ginger Brute, I don't know if I want to... Uh... Okay, I'm sure. You got it. Pitch a Chariot. It's legendary anyway. We have our land, so we can cast Chariot on four and just not care about Soul Gun. Patchwork? Oh, uh, ingenious. Okay. Revealed Patchwork. Okay. Three Fatal Pushes. Attack here. Might hold up Push for... Um... Well, we'll see if they do anything. They might just play Patchwork and grow this. But we're going to use our mana because next time we're hard casting Asikas or Asikas, whatever you want to call it. They could install this too, but I'm pretty sure they're just going to play Patchwork. Having three Fatal Push is, like, hilarious. All right, they play Springleaf Drum. They might tap this. Ginger Brute, okay. Interesting. Um, we're going to push this now because it's only going to get bigger, and they didn't play... Uh... We could also push this. <sighs> they play Patchwork next turn. I think we're fine. We want them to, like, overextend. We'll attack here. Play Essicos and pass. Did I not tap for green at all? <laughs> so we have the mana, we have all the... This card's kind of like a dead card with this out. They have to buy Patchwork, right? Yeah, okay. If that's all they're doing, hopefully they... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, hopefully they um overextend here. God, the shrine. And they, <laughs> they lost, okay. I'll show them the uh, fatal pushes and stuff. I guess they realize they can't win, because if we... Through here, they we attack. We just kill this and, and win. I don't know. All right, so despite all the many punts in the first game, we still got there, so that's good. All right, match two. We're on the play here. We're going to keep this hand. It has turn one thought sees ourself, or turn, we'll turn two thought sees ourself, turn three Grease Fang. It's going to be a little tricky. Hopefully, we can pull it off, but we'll wait till turn two so that way, keep him in the dark. So, good. Turn one tapped, turn two courtyard thought sees ourself. It'd be awesome if we could draw a an informant. And if this was like an informant, we'd have like the nuts. Put it on six. So, we're going to turn one tapped, Temple Garden. Looks like Phoenix. Oh my god, we drew the informant too. That's sick. Consider, yep. All right, so if they have no interaction, we get the combo off. Really hope they're not holding up. Uh, is, they don't play as a charm anymore, right? No. Get back for Helion. Group for Helion. Oh my god, they have Borrower. That's disgusting. All right, we'll get in for three. Kind of disappointing. We'll try again next turn with Thoughtseize. <laughs> yeah, if they tap out, they are... That was a clutch bar for them. Three mana, still not doing anything. Um, play us on... Forest. We're gonna thought seize ourselves. Discard Parhelion. They can see our hand, which we don't really care about. 
mid to combat. See if they have another borrower or a way to get rid of Grease Fang. Okay, nice. So that's an alternate way to play the match if you don't have ways of discarding. Just nice little cheeky plays with this deck. All right, so we're against Birds here. We have uh, against Phoenix, we have Trespasser, Hearse, Duress. Actually, we'll bring in the Abrupt Decays and we'll get rid of Ditchers and Wither Bloom. Sky Seven doesn't really do anything here. We kind of just want our main our main stuff here. All right, so this hand has our colors. I like this hand. The only thing it's missing is the exact combo, but it has like everything else. So I think that's fine. So we will thought seize on turn one. Oh, Elder Deep Fiend. Interesting. Coslex Return deals two damage to each creature. Fiery Impulse. Probably going to take Fiery Impulse here. This will interrupt the combo. I don't think they won't get to emerge this because we'll just kill a thing. So we'll just take that. And then Coslex Return does nothing. Interesting hand they have. All right, they draw, draw Coast for turn. They play Thing in the Ice. That's fine. Another Blooming Marsh. So we could kill this. We just kill this now. I think we have time. We'll play Seda Wayfinder out. Get a land. Didn't put anything good in the graveyard. Maybe make them think that they have a chance with us. All right, they played a land. One mystery card in hand. There's a Parhelion. Not really doing anything for us now. I think an end of turn cause. Like, there's no way they're casting four spells this turn, though. Well, Grizzly Salvage. Take for Fiends here. I just have to pass. Ship and Reef. Okay. Essica's Chariot. I feel like I just want to do this now. They can't, because I don't want them to get enough mana to emerge in any sense here. And then we'll Rafine's here. So now they can Kozilex if they want. Yeah, which is totally fine. So the hand is a mystery card and two, all right, two mystery cards. Well, they're going to play one out. Thing in the ice. Okay. Sealed Courtyard. I kind of want to use this. I want to, I kind of want to Thought Seize. Let's Thought Seize first. Take out our Deep Fiend. Going to play this out. We could save it for, but I want to get, I want to get pressure out here. Like, they can kill our cat tokens, but that's fine. Another empty handed. Our Helion. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're too often casting that. We can can stay away. Can stay away and see what we draw. Abrupt decay. Okay. Well, we're definitely keeping that. It's kind of awkward to. We have two in there. We'll put it in there, I guess. Just make it larger. Play land. Kill this. We can't crew this, sadly. I don't know what their one last card is. Is it Elder Deep Fiend? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They don't have enough mana to uh, do that. Okay, so it's out of Deep Fiend. And that's it. Uh, they just didn't tap. It is. We really need to draw something. We're uh, not drawing anything. So the only way we get punished is if this it's this exact card. So you still have to go for it. There's no way we're playing around them having... Because if they sack it... Or our Brup Decay doesn't hit this anyway, so it's fine. Stitcher Supplier. So we want Stitcher Supplier to find... To put... What's it called? To put the rat in the yard. It did not... We're halfway through our deck and we haven't seen a Grease Fang, which doesn't feel good. We have one Can't Stay Away. We're not going to waste that. Now I'm kind of sad that we use this card, but I thought it was good to get the pressure on and get the stuff out of their hand. But we get to we get the block here and mill over three more cards. Still nothing. All right, so we're definitely going to Can't Stay Away. We have two Can't Stay Aways. This puts four. This puts a total of six. So I want to uh, Can't Stay Away that. All right, we had a Grease Fang. So next turn, we can can stay away Grease Fang and, and get in there. We just need to survive for one more turn. They have one card in hand that they're not. So two mystery cards. They attack. We're going to block here. And they could easily have removal for Grease Fang. Because this deck is just like all removal. And I guess we don't need the hearses either. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Um, is there any reason to... Yeah. We'll use this here so we can play another Chariot in case uh, it, di it dies or they kill it. But yeah, they have two cards in hand. Time to get Parhelion out. Crew Parhelion. Nice. Okay, it's working. Attack here. And then we're just going to play Chariot. But what do they have here? They have a... If they have Borrower, another... Oh. Damn, they have another... Another Deep... They've drawn three Deep Fiends. Ugh. Oh, that's really annoying, huh? Not playing around the third Deep Fiend. Oh, okay. I guess we'll try again next turn. Jesus. We got a four. Ledger Shredder. Okay, that's our last card. They have all the Deep Fiends. All right, we're going to can't stay away. Oh, wait. Oh, it's exiled, right? Oh, because it was can't stay. Oh, uh, because it's from can't stay away. Okay. So we need to wayfinder into it, which will be a chump blocker here. We did not. Damn. We're not hitting well this game. No. Play out another chariot. They get to ledger. They get to connive here. 
which probably isn't the smartest thing. But hopefully they just hit lands. Okay, good. They hit a land. All right. We get some blockers here. So they've hit three deep fiends. So they've gotten to exile Kozlex return a bunch. So a block here. We're at 19 cards in the deck, and we've only seen one, one Grease Fang. Oh, another Shredder. Oh my god. How is that possible? How, how are we... We've seen a third, two thirds of our deck and only one Grease Fang. So if we can't stay away, so we'll go to one next turn. If they don't draw a burn spell, we can go for the high upside of State of Wayfinder's four cards. And they don't have to block Stitchers. We don't even have a Stitchers in there because we only have one in there. Why is it not working? So we can't stay away, Seder. Still no. Wow. Still no. Uh, we shouldn't have gotten this. We should have played this tapped and gotten the uh, the pain uh, non pain land. That's crazy. We have 15 cards left, 14 cards left, and three of them are Grease Fangs. So a block here. Got a one. Are we dead? And we have eight mana anyway, um, in case we drop our Helion. All right. Grizzly Salvage. Oh my god, what? That's that's insane. There's no way. We're at 13 cards, and three of those 13 cards are all Grease Fangs. We gain one life, go to two, and then we're just in the air. That's crazy. Oh my god. That's wild. All Grease Fangs. Um... So, I mean, I we don't want that. We definitely want the Fatal Pushes, though, because that kills all their stuff. We'll keep the um, the Hearses just because they have Kozlex, but I can't believe that. Three Grease Fangs in the bottom, like, ten cards. Yes, we'd like to play. So, one Lander. Otherwise, pretty good hand, but we'll Maul. All right, we'll keep this hand. as all our colors. Thoughtseize into that. I'm going to pitch Essica's. I'm going to start with the Thoughtseize. Okay, their hand's Mono Removal. I'll take Borrower, because we can abrupt the case, uh, Ledger Shredder. Wow, yeah, they have a lot of removal. Ever and Tomb. We're going to have a hard time getting our stuff down, but then mill over anything important. We kind of want them to waste. If they wasted, like, their impulses and stuff on these, that'd be awesome. We're just going to get him for a lot of chip damage, it looks like. So they're going to play Ledger Shredder here. And kill this. Get him for one. We'll play this, because we can't play that untapped otherwise. And we'll hold up Abrupt Decay that way. So they have three... Removal spells in hand. Another Shredder. So they're going to trigger that. That's fine. So they have two Fiery Impulses in hand. We're going to let them hopefully pitch something so that way they think they grow it. And then our hand is just trash. They pitched another Deep Fiend. Oy. Abrupt Decay that. And then our hand is nothing. Wow, what a great draw. Except, man, that sucks. If we had something awesome in the yard, that would be like the best time to do it. I'm not, I'm not going to play it out because it's just going to die. Maybe if we can get lucky and... uh. They tap out again, but most likely not going to happen. Another Ledger Shredder. I mean, they're drawing really well, and we're struggling here. Thought Seas, Thought Not Seer. Guess we'll take that and pass. So the hand is just two Fiery Impulses. Oh, I'm glad we took the Thought Not Seer. They would have been able to cast it next turn. All right, that's a good draw. So they get in with Shredder. We're not going to crew. Oh, they just passed? We're just going to attack, because if we crew with this, they can just, like, double Fiery Impulse. That's interesting. They didn't, uh... Do anything? Unless they have... So they didn't attack. They didn't block. There's one impulse down. So they're going to double impulse and try to... Okay. That's good for us. I don't know if that means they have more removal or what, but now we can play Grease Fang and um, get Chariot going here. And they're like F6, so... We'll exile just two. And we'll set at their upkeep. We'll... Uh... Actually, do we care about this? We'll push this. So I don't know if, like, for Elder Deep being shenanigans... Oh, we could have played this out. For some reason, that was a mistake. <laughs> for some reason, I thought it like went away forever, but it's okay. I'm just kind of skip through my... Okay, we get to see what they have, I guess. Do they have an Elder Deep Fiend? This makes them act if they have anything. If they like want to kill this, we can crew this in response. Yeah, I wish we still had this in play, like a smart person. So yeah, that's that's what they were waiting for. So that forces them to do that, and then they have a land. Okay, get to attack. Um... And we'll just play out all their stuff again. So they have a land in hand and a borrower that can't block. So that's should be game. Okay. They cast borrower. So they need to draw something like this turn. Oh my god, they drew something. Good top deck by them. Nothing we can do about that. What do we have in the yard? Do we have any can't stay aways in the yard? No. Damn, that was like an amazing top deck by them. Oh, one deserves another. And sadly, we have nothing to to crew with. And we have no can't stay aways in the yard. We'll pass. They drew a land for turn. Just eat two more things. Yeah, we would love uh, any cre like a creature would be one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's just like who draws action first, I guess. Thought knots here, yeah. Damn. Backs to the wall. All right, we have one turn. 
We need either can't stay away. We have so many, so many draws. I can't believe that. <sighs> That's an unfortunate way to lose. We just flooded and just drew nothing. Now we're gonna get on this. This uh this is what happened last league when we played this too. We just ended up mulliganing a lot. This is a wall manager, so we're gonna mull. We'll keep this. We have no white sources, but we'll find them. We'll put back a back a tomb. We have two ways of finding lands, so we don't need to keep three. Island pass. So we'll start with the Thoughtsies. See what kind of blue deck we're up against. Probably take big score. It's the only way right now to get rid of Magnum Opus. I can sell these like weird decks right now. They consider Feisty the Vents untapped. They have like Ledger Shredder they drew? No? Okay. Grizzly Salvage. We will play Seder. Looking for a white source here. Hopefully, like, preferably a concealed courtyard. Okay. Not the worst. So they drew a two mana spell last time. Oh, they're just. So we know their one, one card is Fiery Impulse, one of their cards. Can't stay away. I guess we'll... It sucks that one card is a card that kills our Grease Fang. That's Wayfinder again, I guess. Maybe make them use it on a Wayfinder. Still not hitting a White Source. We have a lot of White Sources to hit. Consider. They put another Opus into the Graveyard. We're just hoping they don't hit their payoff. Is it Charm? Okay. Well, they definitely would have discarded our... Or they definitely would have countered our spell if we, if we went for it there. We just had like all the time in the world, but we just can't find what we're looking for. Five mana open. Jesus, dude. All our blooming marshes. Um, let me see. I'm looking up to see what uh Alright, so it is okay, so it's just gear hulk getting everything back. So if we can take them off of this, maybe we just uh let's destroy this treasure token. It kind of sets them back a turn. And we'll mill ourselves. Just drawing these fast lands late is the worst thing possible. Especially if just because they're not white anyway. So yeah, they're going to use this mana now. It forces them to use the mana. And then we get back our white source. So that's good. Going to have to play tapped. Two blue. They're going to discard. Dig through time. Okay. So we're definitely going to be bringing in Graveyard Hate for this deck. And I'm sure they'll be bringing in the same. So we'll get in for two here. Uh, next turn we can... We still haven't hit any Grease Fangs, which is unfortunate. They're one off casting a uh, Gear Hulk. Oh, is that Duckworth? We like Duckworth. So we can... Maybe start with a Grizzly Savage here. All right, we had a Grease Fang. And if we had an untapped land, we could get back Parhelion. That sucks. Or, oh god, I'm so fucking stupid. Yeah, so we should have just let that go to the graveyard. God, man. I'm just like on autopilot mode. That's that's a, another mistake. God damn it. That's on me. Keep doing that. And play Rafines. So yeah, we could have just played that, can't stay away, and then they have to... Another Grease Fang. The only thing is too... I guess it's not the worst thing, because we know they have a Fiery Impulse in hand. So then they'll just remove it. So I don't feel as bad anymore. Maybe we put that into the graveyard because uh, all right, they have a tap land. So we'll play this out. Kill this. Play this out. Get in for four. Get in for as much damage as possible. So that way before they play Gearhawk into Opus. I guess we could have played one of these too. I'm just like, I didn't mean to skip through that. If we can't stay away, discard and... It's probably smart to just drain them there. So they definitely have um, Gear Hulk in hand. All right, so this is like the best possible draw. Make them Gear Hulk. This is exactly what we were looking for too. So they're going to Gear Hulk, like a, one of these up. Get back Opus. They're going to deal four, one, two, three, four, wipe our board. Tap two target permanents. So they'll tap our land. We don't, I mean, we'll float the mana. And then we just get him with Lethal for flying. All right, so here comes Gear Hulk, and they left this open, like we said. Okay, Gear Hulk, sure. Really hope they don't have two kill spells. That would be the uh, absolute worst. Oh, dig through time. So they realize they have to find more kill spells, or else they're dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They get the cast out for free. We're really hoping that they. So we get to Grease. Uh, we don't get the Grease Fang. Can't stay away, Grease Fang. Actually, let's see what they got. Damn, they found two kill spells. I'll take a fiery impulse. Ah oh, man. Um, and they have that one red mana open. So if we do, we have a grease fang in the yard. We don't have a grease fang in the yard. All right. So we'll make them use. We'll make them use it here. Oh, uh, you mean if I tapped? Yeah, yeah. For some reason, I was thinking. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. For some reason, I was thinking. Uh, we wouldn't get the chance to. That's a mistake. I was just focused on this. Uh, yeah, that's my fault. There's no reason to tap like that. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so we just, we had the win, and we just punted away. God damn it. We attack here, they block one, they block this, they go to five. Womp womp. Playing way quicker, like too quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I appreciate that. Uh, it's still frustrating though. So now, if they have nothing, we have two can't stay aways. But, well, it doesn't matter, because they just kill 
Oh, oh, we have two Grease Fangs, too. And we have enough mana to double can't stay away on Grease Fang. So they do attack. All right, let's Grease Fang. I mean, the other hand is, is a Charm, Opus, and something. I really feel on this. Okay. Do they have it? So what I was thinking was I give them priority now, and I would think after that priority, we'd go to the beginning combat step. But I get that priority back. That was the uh, disconnect there. See, this is when they sh this is when they should have killed it. All right, now they get to kill my ship. Okay, okay. Now we're just dead, man. All right, yeah. So we had the game. We just threw that away. So now they go one, two, three, four. We have one block. Uh, no, we have a we have another turn. We get the chump block here, and we get to um drain them. That's just taking a while. I don't know what the uh the issue is. Oh no, they tapped our permanence though. Yeah, we have the crew. That's that's where like I got confused here because usually like most people do it at this step. So the fact that they killed it then, I was like, oh, I'm screwed. All right, so they tapped my stuff and then they just swing out for 14 next turn. And we can't do anything. Uh, we we can we can't stay away something. I guess we can live. We can survive. We have more can't stay aways too. So we can can't stay away. A, a doesn't matter because we're gonna chump. Go to let's get back. Hold on. Uh, they do just have charm, don't they? Uh man, we had this. That sucks. We mess up once, and then they just have the nuts with all this stuff. Yeah, they just deal two to this, and we lose. God damn it! All right, so we should have won. Yeah, we should have won, and then we just mess that up. All right, so definitely bring in a graveyard hate duress. We're gonna bring in this. They got stitchers. Try it like this. Abrupt decay, maybe. They're probably gonna bring in some hate. This takes care of their graveyard and pre hate, I guess. I feel like I want like two abrupt decay over like that. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, Grease Fang is really sweet. So I'm trying to get the reps with it. I've only this is only like my second league with it. Pretty evidently shown here. All right, so we don't have a white source. We have a turn one thought sees press passer. I'm gonna keep. We don't have a white source, but we just have a lot to do. But this definitely rewards reps. Um, just kind of knowing when to do everything at, at the beginning of combat and all that stuff. All right, they went to five. Well, thought sees. Creativity. <sighs> creativity, creativity. That's annoying. This is annoying. I think because we have Trespasser, we can just take the removal? I'm not sure. They are only on one mana. That's true. Chariot seems better. It's close. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I've been really impressed with Chariot. Consider could be a thing, but if we take Consider and then they just rip lands, I'll, I'll take that. I like that. That's kind of like playing on the, the high upside, I think. I think that's fine. And it makes it so they don't have a turn one play i mean we're not drawing well either yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of choices there the payoff you either take the payoffs or like ways to get to the payoffs so we just gotta hope they break on lands okay they drew a land for turn all right so their hand is this and something all right we'll play trespasser out need to w get a find a way to get these in the graveyard they can uh they can oh they didn't counter it okay i wasn't sure they're, they're gonna loot try to look for lands wait they didn't they didn't do anything. Oh, it's a spell. Oh, it's non cre I'm so Jesus. <laughs> Man, I, yeah, I do not play. I'm a modern player by trade, so it's like, but why didn't they do that at the end of their turn anyway? Is is what I'm confused about. Yeah, Trespass is great at, at just keeping their uh, graveyard empty. So I think I think this is a great card to, to board in. All right, so they found a land and they pitched they pitched fiery impulse and creativity. They must they must have like insane stuff. Oh, let's see, let's see. No, if we drew a land, we could thought seize ourselves. Oh man, we could be doing a lot of stuff. If we drew a land, we could thought seize ourselves and can't stay away. Or no, if we yeah, if we drew a land, we could thought seize ourselves and cast Grease Fang. Let's attack. We'll play out Grease Fang because if they kill it, yeah, Pioneer Mana Base exactly. Uh, I don't think it matters what we take, right? We'll still. Pl oh wait, we don't have a fucking white source. God damn it, dude. Yeah, Mana Base is trash. All right, let's thought seize. I guess. <sighs> Another fiery impulse and prismari command. We'll take prismari command. Mana base, man. You think this deck plays pretty well as a mid range deck? That's true. I think if you do add Liliana, it'll turn. To, it'll just give it more avenues of of like threats, right? There's our white source. God damn. At least this will turn or this turned already. So so when it attacks, we get two cards, but we don't get to gain any life off that. I mean, we're just doing damage, so. Next turn we can we can do some stuff. Do they draw another or is this just another is a charm? Oh, they're gonna discard Opus. One, two, three, four, five. So if they do have Gear Hulk, they can Gear Hulk next turn and make us really sad. Tap land. Okay, well we get this we get to eat this now. We'll attack. Because we can't do damn trespassers just winning the game on its own. 
Do we play Trespasser out or Grease Fang? I guess we just play out Grease Fang, right? Because if we draw something to get rid of Parkelion, we can play that and kind of go off. So, I mean, I guess they could still have... They could flash in Gear Hulk here. Are we assuming that they have Gear Hulk here? I mean, regardless, they're not dead, so... Do they have Gear Hulk? They do. Oh, no, wait. They can just activate Hall. That's fine. We really need a way to discard these Parkelions. They play another land, Chariot. They're at five. So they have to activate Hall again. And they have one card in hand. So we'll play Chariot after this. And then that should be game. We'll pass the turn. So if they draw nothing here, they lose. Yeah, we definitely should have 2 0 Do they have it? So not just like auto-scooping. It's things because I don't know if they if they run any like graveyard hate or what. It's just like all removal. I tried finding like a deck list, but I couldn't really because this deck's like fringe, so I couldn't really find the deck list. They're playing something. Wait, turn off auto yields. No, no, I didn't mean to F6. I mean, there's, there's, okay. I would have, I would have, uh, I, um, I would have crewed this in response. So yeah, it doesn't look like they, I mean, I'll keep the abrupt decays in just in case, but it's mostly just, we need graveyard hate and hand hate. So I'll run it back. This hand has all our mana. Kind of sucks otherwise, though. We just have Thoughtseize into Salvage. I think we can do better. This hand's also terrible. All right, we'll go to five. No, not like this. All right, we're going to keep. We're not going to four. Do this. Run the play. I didn't think those first hands were keepable just because they did nothing. They just had like turn one thought season. That's it. At least this this will have like some action here. We can go unlicense hearse depending on what they do. They didn't tap out here. Still going to thought seize. It's not mana efficient, but I don't want to. Oh, my God. All right, so their hand is three lands. We're going to be eating their graveyard. Yeah, I think their hand is pretty bad. Um, it's between... <laughs> It's between creativity and impulse, right? They can creativity for Gear Hulk, but if we're eating their graveyard, Gear Hulk doesn't matter. I'm going to take impulse. I think that's the right take. They don't have a way to get treasures, and I mean, they could always draw away, but I think we need to play Sator Wayfinder out to hit a land. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus. Uh uh. Their hand sucks, but then <laughs> we have no lands again. We're on five, but this should definitely hit a land. They drew a consider for turn. That's good for them. They've been a creativity. They're looking for lands. They found a land. We're definitely playing Hearse out because I don't want them to have... We're just going to eat this now. Don't want to give them any chance to uh, dig or anything like that in response. And we don't have any art... Of... We don't have any things in the yard for... They're going to have a hard cast... Uh... Um, does it make sense to... I'm trying to think. We can... Let's look at their hand. And then we can just get back Trespasser. They have three gear hulks. My god. We just have to put the pressure on, I think. Oh, wait. We can just informant into that i gotta i gotta stop and think more so eight thirty yard i mean according to the clock i'm thinking way too much but i'm not thinking hard enough is the problem so on five lands their hand is all gear hulks good akiva okay nice yeah we uh <laughs> man we are not playing optimally at all sorry to everyone on youtube for that all right we're here on match four and another one lander i feel like we mulligan to five we won on the mulligan to five last game too we mulligan to five a bunch so we'll mulligan this one also this one has both sources of mana here. Two can't stay away. I don't think we need two. Our fiends can put a Seekers in the graveyard if we need to. All right, so this is red-black. Play this tapped. We haven't played against red-black yet. For as popular as the deck is. Citrus Supplier. So we can destroy... We can destroy this. I don't know if they sack that. Probably not. No. Would we mill? Definitely gonna have to Seder next turn, hoping for a land. Hopefully we draw a land. Unlucky witness. Lands have been like our downfall, it seems. We play this land out. We can actually let's Wayfinder first and then we'll supply her. I don't wanna pitch this yet, just in case we want to hard cast it if we need to. Oh okay, there's Parhelion. We'd love to mill over a, a Grease Fang. No Grease Fang though. They village rights there, unlucky witness. We will kill this. Oof. Okay. We got a Fatal Push out of their hand. That's actually pretty big. Still no Grease Fang. Grizzly Salvage. So we can Salvage. I think we just play Chariot here. Not too sure. We would love to draw Grease Fang. Like, that's that's one thing we've been missing in all these games. Opponent has four cards in hand. Fable. Okay. It's going to be pretty annoying, I think. Do they attack with this? They don't. Kill it. Another Chariot. I think we're going to Grizzly Salvage into... Maybe it can't stay away. Oh uh, man, I would I would love to just hard cast Grease Fang. They have two mana open. It's probably removal. Um uh, we'll we'll risk it, I guess. We'll see if they have the uh a kill spell here. They draw a card. Mm. Do they push because they damn they do? Alright, we'll crew this then. That's what I was afraid of. So they sacked it so they could get revolt. We'll attack, make it 
token here. Play this tapped. Yeah, they, their last, their one of their cards needed to be a removal, but they're like full of removal spells, so it's not anything crazy. Now they get the loot, which is pretty annoying. We can't stay away. We could can't stay away something to dig. They pitched an unlucky witness. They're gonna attack. Yeah, trade mayhem devil. They're tapped out. Yes, what a top deck for Helian. We could even get um Sky Sovereign too. Oh, I meant to. No, that wouldn't that wouldn't have worked. But they could have won. We'll play out Rafines here also. Put a cherry back. That goes back to our hand, and we have a pretty big board state here. I don't know how they're gonna how they're gonna get through that. We're at sixteen also. We can also crew this if we need to. Yeah, they can't deal with that. Nice. Beat a lot of removal, so that's pretty impressive. So against this deck, we're going to be bringing in Graveyard Trespassers, the old Fatal Push, Sky Sovereign, Abrupt Decay. Probably don't need... If We we probably have a, like, a lot of removal anyway. Let's see what this looks like. 62. Fatal Push? Nah, Fatal Push doesn't really hit. It, I mean, it can hit some things, but Abrupt Decay hits everything. We'll try this. Uh, this hand is fine. We can keep this hand. Has a good turn one, turn two play. And if they're playing, okay. The player can see courtyard, play supplier. Hit absolutely nothing. Trying to hit the nuts here. We will trade here. A lot of grease fang. So turn two, we will... Okay, so they're going to do that. Turn two, we're going to get rid of a park alien. Then turn three, we're going to can stay away if they let us. We can assume they have a sh shit ton of removal in hand. But if they tap out, so they should sack this now. And they can get cat back. All right, we'll deal through this turn. So we really want them to tap out here. So they can sack this for one damage. They need three. So they sack this for... No, they don't... They could... Yeah, they don't have enough to... Wait, one, two... No, they don't have enough to kill. Can't stay away. Grease Fang. Move to combat. Do they have enough for this? Then they sack this. Oh, uh, they do. Damn, okay. I miscounted then. All right, well, they used... Damn, okay. I guess we won't do anything then. We can make our land drops for more can't stay aways. Yeah, I miscounted the... I lost that extra one damage there. I forgot that they can do it that one more time. All right, they put Gigantha to hand. We'll say to Wayfinder here, and then we'll play this land tapped. We could also... Probably could have just honestly played... Well, because we had two lands, we could have played this untapped land and played Rafines also. But we do already have a Parkia land in the graveyard. So next turn, we can can't stay away and see if it's good enough, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a problem. That's we definitely need a rough decay for this. I mean, just this engine right here is really annoying. But the exile... Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so we don't have a Grease Fang to can't stay away. And this just eats our graveyard. So, like, I really don't want to do this now and then they just eat. Because they sack this, ping, get it back. So this does two damage every time and drains us for two. Let's get this back. Let's see. I'm just trying to get, like, bodies on the... Because this is three. They can't kill the three right now, I don't think. I could discard this, but they can uh, just eat it. I, I'm not sure. So they can just ping this now. It's, like, a rough spot. They have their own hearse. Chariots. Fine draw. But they can just like start pinging us, I guess. Um, I think we just play this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can sack that and get the cat back. I'm gonna attack. Actually, no, nah, because they can just eat it, whatever I target. We can't attack. They're gonna sack this, get the cat back. This like hearse counters trespasser. Yeah, just eat eat all that. That's fine. And just get the ping all our tokens. We'd like really need an abrupt decay for this fucking mayhem devil. I have the Gigantha and Unlucky Witness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need one more land. I guess we just pass. But we chump here. Like, we're, I'm pretty sure we're dead next turn anyway. So, like, we need two turns. We need to draw exactly a land, and we need to survive. And we have nothing to crew this anyway, because they're just crewing. They're just killing everything. Eating all our stuff. There's a 4-4 four, four now. Thoughtseize, take away our Parhelion. They can just, yeah, start activating lands. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, so we definitely need... I want hearses for, like, the cat combo seems insane. I don't understand... Flagship's good. Hearse is good. What wasn't good here? I feel like Witherbloom. Take away Grizzly Salvage. All right, we're on the play this time. I think we, we mulliganed to like a medium five or six that game too. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this hand's terrible. One mall. This hand's a lot better. We'll keep this. We have turn one, turn two, turn two, turn three. Flagship's good, but not in your opener. Play Supplier. Mill nothing. Definitely gonna play Hearse on turn two. If we don't get Thoughtseize. Chariot. Now I want to play Rafines because I want to pitch this looking for a land. No land. I have the Catam in combo. They shock this in. Definitely a push. So we're not going to play into that. Now they have to deal with this. They can't. They have to sack this now if they want to. This is going to be a pain in the ass for them. That's why they're taking so long to think. So they're going to do their pings now, sure. I'm attack for three. 
We'll leave this back because if they want to try to attack, it's probably not the best for them. Oh, I didn't play my land. I'm stupid. It took so long to think that I just totally forgot about this. God damn it. Mayhem devil. So tapped out so we can Grease Fang now for Chariot. Crew here. Um, attack with these. Hold up purse. Double block here. Eat the cat. And we'll pass. So they could have another cat. It's not unreasonable if they made that block. Make a token. Blooming Marsh. Is there anything we can do in our graveyard right now? We have no vehicles in our graveyard. We can abrupt decay this, make them sack it, and attack for attack for lethal so they have to block here. Okay. So they'll sack this, ping us for one, move to combat, hack all. They have to chomp. Not chomp, just trade, I guess. And then we'll pass. So now they get to uh, loot, but if they don't draw any, if they have nothing here, they looted away Deadly Dispute and Fable, and we win. Nice. Three and one. All right. Final match. We're on the play here. Yes, we'd like to go first. Man, this this hand could be anything. Turn one, tap land. Or turn one, concealed courtyard. Turn two, inform it, pitching that. We'll try it. It's kind of like a mixed bag. Maybe we'll we'll play this tapped, because we can still... Maybe it's like too slow, but I think this is like fine-ish. Desert beach. This is blue-white. Pitch Parhelion. Pass. So the ideal draw would be Grease Fang. They shock that in. Another Rafines. Play courtyard. Play around the sensor. Pitch another Parhelion. We'll pass. There's a sensor. Look at us, big brain. Now they've absorbed mana up. Portable hole. That's fine. Take one of those. Another can't stay away. Attack for three. Um, play another Rafines. Third Rafines. Grease Fang. Pitch Salvage here. Now we have a lot of ways to get around their counter spells. So what we're looking for is to we're gonna just gonna hard cast Grease Fang and then try to can't stay away Grease Fang. Okay, well that's a great draw. Now we get to take away their counter spell. Dovin's Veto. So now we can Grease Fang. There we go. Nice. So our draws really worked out that like, especially against a control deck like this, can stay away is really good. Hand disruption is really good. Our sequencing was just oh, really worked out. So against blue white, definitely want definitely want this. Supplier is not that good. Wither Bloom. We'll take out three supplier, three wither bloom, and we'll bring in three duress and three abrupt decay. Uh this hand has abrupt decay, has state a wayfinder. That's like a little bit of everything. We'll we'll try it. It's like it's nothing amazing, but against we're against blue white, so it doesn't have to be super fast. And play concealed courtyard and pass. But yeah, we're currently three and one. Up a game against blue white. Rest in peace. Okay, well, that's why we have a rough decay. You wish to invest in a pioneer? Yeah, it's. I'm waiting for um. I'm waiting for them to come out with like the pre boxes, the um the pre made. We'll just do this now. Could wait and just like end of turn it. They cycle looking for a land. I'm assuming. We will say to Wayfinder, shock this in, play around sensor again. Put a Parhelion in the yard, and we'll pass. You missed a million RCQs because I only play modern. Yeah, I mean, kind of like here too, also. A lot of a lot of the places around me. Well, actually, there's kind of like a split between modern and pioneer. And I definitely didn't do pioneer because I only have a uh, lotus built in paper. So they're stuck on three lands, it looks like, which is good for us. But I'm assuming they just have like counter spell. We're not doing much either. We're gonna play Blooming Marsh because it comes in tap and pass. Still stuck on three lands. Seder Wayfinder. This is one way to win too, is just like get little beatdown stuff like this. We put a Grease Fang in the... We'll target this. They'll probably absorb it here. Makes sense. Get in for one. So we just have a lot of inevitability with... um. We have two can't stay aways in the yard. So they we have three can't stay aways in the yard. So they have to counter all three of those. And if they're only on... <sighs> no! What a good top deck by them. All right. Play this out. Play a Seeker's Chariot. We'll attack for two. I guess we'll rest in peace at the end of their turn. This is a good fair way with rest in peace. And almost, we almost like really don't care. Yeah, you know what? We're not going to do that because we're playing to the board here. We're going to crew. They could have something. They might have like Fateful Absence or something. Oh, this Otherworldly Light. Okay, well, in response to that, we'll uh, kill rest in peace because they just got rid of Faith Bound Judge. Interesting card. So this will go just to our graveyard. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's exiled. I'm stupid. Duh. I mean, regardless, we're going to get rid of that because we have we don't have as much pressure anymore. Play that tab. We'll get him for two here. And then we'll actually cast Takanuma next turn. They're still stuck on three lands, so hopefully they just stay stuck on three lands. They cycled sensor looking for a land. They found a planes. Okay, let's attack. I don't want to play anything into absorb. We don't want them to gain life. And we're winning on board, so... This doesn't use the stack, so we can do that. They can't even, uh, they're just like hoping we cast something into absorb. If, settle the wreckage. Oof. Yes, please. No, please. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Settle the wreckage, huh? 
can play Grease Fang in the end of turn. We'll Grizzly Savage. What a blowout, huh? Um, I still don't want a Grizzly Savage. I just I don't want to play into Absorb if I can help it. All right, do you have another one? Oh my God, you do. I love you, Streamer Man. Thanks. Got double settle the wreckage. Deluge. I guess they have nothing and now they're in desperate. Like they'll probably concede. Um, if they're deluging main phase, pithing needle. So they're gonna name Sky Sovereign here. And then we are going to Grizzly Savage into a Sika's. Yes. Now we win with the Sika's. Or do we? Actually, no, I don't think we do. No, a Sika's only does four. Oh wait, we have Parhelion. Oh wait, Parhelion is what am I looking at? Oh, I was looking at Exile Zone, that's why. So, uh, so I messed up. So what I should have done was, well, wait, is there a can't stay away? No, nah, I can't stay away. Can't. I didn't know if I could get something large enough to power that. So they get one more turn, I guess. Good uh, needle for them. All right, so they have to have a board wipe here. I really wish he had, like, we have four thought seas and three duress that we could draw. They're cycling, they're digging. Yes. Woo, nice. Yeah, whatever. Okay, we went 4-1. We'll take that. The 5, we could have got that 5 over there. Uh, like, we, we definitely didn't play optimally, but that the one loss was just like, or I'd, I'd say that's just like unlucky. That was an interesting league to say the least. As you guys watch me slog through those, uh, some of those unfortunate play sequences. But again, we're learning. It happens. So this is Abzan Grease Fang. Still a really sweet deck. The combo aspect is just so fun. You just, you kind of... You focus on getting Grease Fang into Parhelion as quick as, I mean, as fast as turn two, honestly, sometimes turn three. And then if you can do that, like you're just, you're set. We did that like once or twice, but a lot of times you'll run into Graveyard Hate and all that stuff, which is where our great sideboard comes in. I love this deck. Definitely going to run this for our mana traders, try to qualify. Just been really lazy and haven't yet. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, I have another recording. I have another video with a list similar to this. You can find it like up here, or like down there or something in my channel. Uh, go check that out if you're into that. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Peace.